If you're having trouble signing into your Intuit account, we're here to help you get in. We'll show you how to sign in if you lost or forgot your user ID or password, lost your phone, or recover your account if you can't get a verification code. If you have forgotten your user ID or password, but still have access to your phone or email on file, you can still access your account. Go to our Sign In Help page. Enter the phone number, email address, or user ID. For this example, we'll enter an email address. Select Continue. We'll send you a text or email with a verification code. Enter the code and select Continue. You can enter a new password. Now your password has been reset. Once you're back in your account, you can change the email address, password, and phone number, or go right to the product. If you haven't received an email yet and you're worried that you haven't received the verification code, here are a few things you can do. Check your junk mail or spam folder to see if the email went there. Check all the email addresses you might have used to sign up for your account. Unblock or add into it as an approved sender. You can get a new code by selecting I didn't get an email or I didn't get a text message. Make sure you haven't accidentally blocked the phone number we sent the text message from. If you entered the exact code that was sent to you and it didn't work, it's most likely because you've generated multiple codes and aren't using the most recent one. Delete any previous codes we sent you to make sure you use the most recent code. If you're locked out of your QuickBooks Online account, you'll see the following message. Too many invalid attempts. The account is locked out for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you can try to sign in again with a phone number, email, or user ID. If you're signing in using a web browser, clear your cache and cookies to get rid of any pre-filled passwords and reopen your browser before you sign in. If you have lost or forgotten your user ID and password and no longer have access to your phone or email on file, use the account recovery form. We'll process your request. For your security, only you can make changes to your Intuit account. You'll be directed to the update page where you can fill in the details. First, select the information you are updating from the drop-down menu. In this video, we will select the email and phone number. Next, you'll have to fill in your current user ID. Enter your email address tied to your account. Enter the new email address and confirm it again. Review your information. If everything looks good, select Continue. Note that you cannot make changes once you continue. You are then directed to a page with a QR code to verify if it's you. Scan the QR code to start your verification. If you cannot scan the code, you can select the Upload ID manually from the drop-down. Here you can upload the file, attach the file, and select Continue. You get a confirmation message that we have received your request with a case number for your reference. You can make a note of this. You can also take a print of this page for your future reference. Within one business day, you'll receive an email from Intuit with the status of your request. If you still can't access your account after trying all of the troubleshooting steps in this article, reach out to our support team to connect with an expert. Now you know how to recover your account.